Hey everybody, this is PH Darian here with my daughter Gabrielle. Come up here, Gabby. What were you saying about my gun? Can you see it? Yes. Why? Because it's in your pocket. You can't see it though, because I have my shirt over it. It's right here. It's right here, she says. I'm gonna get up closer to this camera so you can see how ridiculous I look right here. You look fat. I look, dang, appreciate it. Um, so either way, I'm over here dirty concealed carrying an AR-15. Um, in my pocket. So this is what I was carrying, all right? I've got a 300 blackout pistol upper that I built, same with the lower that I built. Check it out. I'll probably give the specs out another time if people are really interested in it, if they can't see already what, what pieces are on here. Um, but conceal carrying dirty. I wouldn't say carrying an AR-15 is, uh, for pistol purposes, is concealing dirty. It would be if you're trying to conceal it, as you saw me ridiculously carrying that thing underneath my shirt. Putting it in a car, however, that's not concealing dirty. You gotta get over here. I don't need you to do that. All right, so I do have a Glock 22 on me right now, pretty loosely. Um, I've done this before. I'm wearing a short shirt, um, some sort of drawstring pants or shorts instead of uh, something with a belt. And I ended up doing this. Gabby, can you see my firearm? What? Can you see my gun right now? Right there. Oh yeah. All right, and then I put my hands down and what happens? You can still see part of it. So the magazine got covered up, but the but the uh, magwell on, on the frame did not for the receiver. So this is too tight. Obviously, something that's, that's tight enough, you'll be able to see the imprint of it. You're gonna be tall. Oh, I'm tall? You said I was fat. Um, so either way, that's something that I want people to understand, uh, not concealing dirty. Um, I've done this too as well. If you conceal all the time, it will become a part of your, like I guess you could say second nature. If it's hot, which it is currently hot, it's gonna be humid out here in Virginia Beach. I've done this as well, completely guilty of it. I don't, I don't understand what I was doing. And uh, I ended up doing this one time. Whole gun exposed. And I know for a fact someone saw it. For a fact, had to see it. Right, Gabby? Thanks. Um, give me a high five. Cool. Tell everybody our guns toys. Look in the camera and say, guns are toys or guns are not toys? Which is it? Guns are not toys. How old are you? Seven and a half. Oh, God, I thought that happened there. Who told you guns aren't toys? Who taught you that? Who taught you that? Me. Me. Daddy. The number one person in a child's life should be their parents. Um, fathers specifically teach a lot about firearm safety, not, not taking anything from mothers. But Gabby understands. She sees these firearms ever since she was about three years old. Not three and a half, but ever since she was three years old, she's been around firearms. And that's been more than half of her life. And she understands that these aren't toys. Because you might aim them at someone. You might, and then you can hurt them if you're not doing it properly, correct? Correct. Correct. All right, so just want to show you guys some stuff about people who want to conceal carry. Uh, wear something with a belt. Wear a shirt that's bigger. Wear a shirt that's a little bit baggier, loose fitting. Never try and conceal an AR-15 in your actual clothes, because if you do, you're probably up to no good. If you conceal it in your car, it's a completely different topic. Um, but either way, just wanted to share that with you. All right, YouTube. Peace.